Anyways, this guy's soaked. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to attack my raid. I'm going to do special to uh, crippling the enemy team in the process. Weakening the enemy team in the process. Frostbiting the enemy team in the process. Look at this. So... So today we're talking about classic rain. I'm ready, you guys should be ready, and I bet Starwin's guy is also ready. So let's do it. Hello guys, and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, today we are talking about classic rain. You know I did video. Best characters, best diamonds in the game. Then Starwin's guy did a video, and then he said that classic rain is a B. I was shocked. This was blasphemy, like how come he's a B? He's not a B. Uh, and I challenged him, I said, just take a look at those videos and you can see the potential of this guy. And he saw the videos and he isn't convinced yet. Uh, and he had his arguments to provide. And the point of this video is not to like assert dominance on him and to make him accept my position. No, the point here is to make sure that I agree with his points where I believe that's the case, and when I and I where I should disagree with the points when I believe that's the case. Let's start with the points uh, which he made that, in my opinion, are correct. First thing first, rain is difficult to obtain. Yes, no questions here. If I say no, he isn't, that would be really really dishonest, right? However, he's a new character, so for every single new character, I have no clue what's going to happen in the future. So I know for a fact, for example, that Leatherface is difficult to get because he's available once per year for like three or four years now. So yeah, I can say that. Because I know, for Rain, no clue. He's difficult to obtain now, but what's going to happen in the future? Are they going to put him in a pack or something? I don't know. But uh, for this particular case, in the current position, he is difficult to obtain. However, uh, there is one thing that reduces the problematic value, <laughs> let's say, of uh, the fact that he's difficult to obtain. And this is the fact that this guy works at Fusion Zero. So all you need to do is get him once. And you can do that in Tower, for example, in certain packs. Uh, actually, not quite sure whether he's uh, available in packs. Anyways, uh, what I'm saying is that he's, he's difficult to obtain, but once you unlock him at Fusion Zero, he's incredible. So, yeah, I will take that as uh, imperfection, as something negative about him. And the problem is, for me, this is not enough to drop him from Tier S. Not enough. Once again, because he's incredible at Fusion Zero. All you have to do is get him at Fusion Zero. Another thing, Classic Rain is not fun to play. This is entirely subjective. Uh, and when I am trying to rank a character, when I'm trying to say this card is great and that card is bad, I am trying to, I don't know, to just to channel my subjective feeling about the character out of the way. Let's call it this way. Uh, for instance, I really dislike MK11 Scorpion. Trust me, I dislike this card. Uh, for me, he's incredibly boring to play. That's just me. I'm not telling you that you should be feeling like me, right? For me, he's incredibly boring to play, and I never like him. Like, honestly, never like him. I use him a lot, but he's not my character. But this doesn't mean that I'm going to say he's a B or he's a C because I don't like him. I uh, realize the potential Scorpion has, and uh, I realize that my subjective feeling isn't that important because in the general case, he's amazing, and in the general case, people want to be competitive, not only to have fun. I mean, you can go to quick mode and have fun, but quick mode is not uh, enough to elevate your account, right? You have to do towers, you have to do stuff like this. And the most competitive modes, you require competitive characters. So, uh, if the two characters are exactly the same, let's take uh, MK11 Scorpion and Shao Kahn, and let's say that they're exactly the same. And uh, if they're exactly the same, then yeah, I would say that the character that is fun to play has an edge. But if a character is fun to play, but he's useless, another character is great, but he's not that fun to play to me, I always say that the character who is not fun to play is better. For instance, Marksman Kunjin and MK11 Scorpion. I really like Marksman Kunjin. I consider him one of the funniest characters to play in the game. I really love playing with him. However, he's not good as MK11 Scorpion. I mean, I just have to state the facts. So, this leads me to the point where I disagree with uh, Starring Sky. Uh, for one thing, he said that uh, he doesn't do a lot of damage with a special one. By the way, that's true. He doesn't, really. However, can he beat boss battles alone? I have a footage to show that, and I've seen, by the way, people beating battle 180 and 200 in Nightmare Tower using just Classic Rain, with great equipment, of course. Uh, however, I am not convinced that he's the greatest boss killer. Probably he's one of the best, but not the greatest. However, he also has potential support in boss killing. So, for one thing, he's great boss killer himself. If not the best, then one of the best. And the second thing, he can support in the process of killing the boss. And that's amazing. And he can support at Fusion Zero. 
very well he can support Fusion Zero. Now, I'm going to first play a video uh, of me where I'm using this very team, just to demonstrate what Classic Rain can do at Fusion Zero. Of course, it is not a mind-blowing achievement, but it is just one of the things that Star and Sky missed to mention, that the enemy doesn't have to be team-soaked. If you soak the enemy and you have Classic Teammate, you can do so much damage to attack the out opponents, and when I say damage, I mean in terms of the buffs. Just look at this. Right now, I'm using Classic uh, Reptile, which means that I can uh, basically uh, poison the tagged out enemies. I'm going to do special 2. He's soaked. And then I'm going to start to do uh, the special ones. Look at this. One special one. And I'm trying really hard not to kill him. Then I'm doing another special one. And look at this. The enemies from the background, they're already taking damage. You see? And imagine this. You, you are stuck on a battle. You have classic reptile. Fusion 1 or Fusion 2. He's weak. But the point is, you can stack so many debuffs to the tagged out enemies. Uh... And of course, at some point, the Team Soap will expire. But you get the point, right? You can use Classic Rain in so many ways to support your teammates. And uh, at the moment when... Um, who was that guy? Ermac will attack. Look at this. He's at 30% health. So, another way to use Classic uh, Rain at Fusion Zero, right? Pretty good, right? And Classic uh, Reptile is a character who is extremely easy to obtain. So, let's go to the boss battle. Alright guys, this is the boss battle and this is the equipment I have on Lucane. Uh, like, I'm not going to use Lucane really, I just wanted to do one special too for the sake of triggering another um, another tick of the pass for my Classic Rain. And I'm not quite sure whether I showed Classic Rain, oh I cannot use Injustice Rain, on her, so I just have to do some questing. I believe I'm showing the gears at the end, yeah, this is my equipment on Classic Rain, before we go to the, uh, get to the battle. Now, a lot of people will say, oh yeah, but you're using maxed out tower gear. And I, I know, but how can I ima possibly replicate Classic Rain Fusion 10? I have to use some kind of gear, right? So I don't know whether this thing is more than Classic Rain Fusion 10 with one green piece maxed out. I have no clue, but I had to use something to boost the damage, right? I cannot uh, really showcase some amazing uh, boss killing potential power of Fusion 1. I don't think any character in this game can destroy bosses at Fusion 1 without our equipment. I mean... For instance, MK11 Scorpion can do it, but he definitely can do it fast, right? That's the point. Can he do it in one attempt? Because Star and Sky said that I couldn't do the battle in one attempt. Even though I wasn't trying to, I was just showcasing how to use Classic Rain and Injustice to Raiden in the boss battle. Uh, now, the I just I picked this equipment because they don't give me anything except the damage. So they don't give me boost to special one, they don't give me anything. Uh, yeah, that sounds silly, right? They give me 300% damage boost. <laughs> I mean, I don't get anything else but damage. This is all I wanted. Uh, I could have chosen something else, for example, give shield break or anything. And another thing is that I am not using the correct talent set. I'm using some kind of a troll talent set. That, no, actually, it's not troll talent set, but talent set that I designed for Ronins. It's definitely not for killing bosses. I have Revenant and stuff, and you're going to see I won't get hit, even once. Uh, this is another um, thing, and I use it only for the power generation boost and the max health boost and the damage boost. Actually, the max health boost is irrelevant because I won't be getting hit at all. Uh, you're going to witness the battle, and... Um, what is the last? Yeah, actually, those are the two the two tower pieces that I used on my reign. Whether this is a lot, I don't know, because he's fusion one. If he was fusion ten, probably I would give him just two green pieces or something. But for now, I, I don't know how to test him otherwise. Now, let's go to the battle itself. The battle starts. I have Lucane, so Lucane is going to stun, but I'm not trying hard to the minigame. Just stun. And from there on, rain takes on. Look at this. I'm going to the special two, just for two extra uh, stacks. And to snare Ermac, of course. The damage still is not amazing, even at special 2, even with this tower equipment. Now I start... I start the punishment. Now, there is a little problem here. Just because a lot of people will say that not a lot of people have rain epic piece max. I never used it intentionally. Because if I used it in the first place, it would be much much easier to team soak the entire team. However, since I'm not using it, I cannot team solve that easily. So I'm trying to do it as difficult as possible. And of course I'm waiting for the opportunity, Raiden, to stun this guy, uh, so I can do another special two and team soak, which means that from this point on, my special one will be damaging the entire boss team. Look at this. Team soak, very lucky stun from Raiden, and from, the, uh, from this point on, I'm damaging the entire enemy team. Once again, my talents, are not designed for this battle because I am sick of changing my talents. So, basically, I'm doing pretty good and I'm just going to fast forward. 
this Raiden is going to do a one special two without trying hard to the mini game. Uh, yeah, he, do, he, do, he dealt some damage, it is true, but at the end of the day, uh, I still kept using classic range. And this is how I finished this battle. This battle 80 from the Nightmare Tower, by the way. Uh, yeah, it is the same. And look at the health of the bosses after this battle. I used one special two of Injustice Raiden and one special two of Classic Lucan without trying anything on the mini game and without giving them any tower equipment. So this is what I achieved in one attempt. Is it great? I would say yes. Is it the best in the game? I don't know because I have to try him at Fusion 10. But for now, I reckon that even at Fusion 1 with good equipment, he can kick ass. And now let's go to the final point where I absolutely definitely disagree with Star Sky when he said that Classic Rain isn't good in survival mode. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, I survived the Elder Tower with my uh, Classic team and I just wanted to show you the equipment. Because a lot of people will say that probably I used some kind of overpowered equipment. No, I didn't. I used these very pieces on Rain, even though I could have given him something better. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. And I intentionally didn't use my maxed out piece for Rain because uh, there will be the people who will say that not everyone has this piece maxed out. And I agree, not everyone has this piece maxed out, but it's incredible on Rain. And that effect, the second one, chance to play a random negative effect. Uh, and uh, whenever, uh, whenever Rain applies Soak, there is 50% chance to spread to the whole opponent team. It's not unlocked at Fusion 10. So even if you have it at Fusion 2, Fusion 3, it won't help you. It won't be that great as Fusion 10 but still it will help you. Currently though, I wasn't using that piece in my run. For that reason, a lot of people will be telling me that uh, not many people have this piece. So I'll be using like regular piece or green tower pieces. Uh, from For me, from now on, the argument that uh, having maxed out green pieces as the cheat is not really an argument because currently every single person can max out every single tower gear from the, let's say from the first, for the, from the previous two towers onwards. Now, for the Ice Bomb, this was still the case. I remember, I think I maxed it free to play, or I didn't spend anything on it. Uh, it was easy to max out. Let's see the other two guys. On my classic Raiden, I have two green tower pieces and one living dead, which is perfectly fine Fusion Zero. If you have it Fusion Zero, it will give you the same thing. Uh, so, uh, the fusion on this, this uh, piece is not really that important. And the Rat Hammer, of course. Uh, for classic Lucane, I had uh, this piece, his, uh, I don't know, rare piece, uh, but I could have swapped it for any tower that gives, uh, any actually armor that gives health. So uh, yeah, it was kind of uh, easy Elder Tower. Now, this is the equipment, as you can see, I'm not using any crazy maxed out epic tower pieces for this current run, because I want to showcase that this team, without good, um, without great equipment, it has good equipment, I'm not going to lie, but it doesn't have great equipment, it's still insanely strong. However, with the correct equipment, this team is the best in the game. There is nothing and nobody that can stop this team. And I'm going to demonstrate it with the gameplay right now. Alright guys, so we're starting with battle number 8. We're facing one of the worst teams that we can face with Classic Smoke because he kind of reflects all the buffs. This is the reason why I don't want to do anything with Classic Rain because the moment I do Special Tour, I'll probably uh, cripple myself. And I actually, I won't cripple myself. I'm going to snare myself. And I don't want that. I'm going to do uh, X-Ray just to get rid of this guy. And then Tremor comes. And a lot of people, actually one person in the Starring Sky um, channel, basically said that, what do you do with Tremor? You see this Tremor is maxed out and my Rain is Fusion 1. And what do I do? Nothing, because the, the moment Tremor pulls me, he's crippled, you see? <laughs> so, and on top of that, I reflect the stun. I actually resisted the stun, which is extremely easy. Uh, you can achieve 40 or 50% resistance to stun without having any equipment, just out of talents. Now, uh, I bought some time, and this is the way I defeated this battle. It wasn't really difficult at all. But remember, this battle, I couldn't really do anything with Classic Rain. And this gameplay is all about how Classic Rain can be great by only soaking enemies. I'm not talking about Team Soak. You know what was going to happen if I team so Classic Raiden is going to attack and he's going to kill everybody. One special two, everybody is dead. But this time I'm not doing that because it's too OP. I'm doing only the buffs thanks to the fact that I am soaking the active enemy and actually crippling him. And I want his Revenant to proc and I'm going to explain to you why in the, uh, in the next uh, couple of minutes. Now let's keep this fight because it's boring. Let's see this fight. What's going to happen here? I don't even remember each and every uh, single fight. I think this was the, the hardest fight for me. Now I'm going to do special uh, two. The damage wasn't bad. And I'm going to soak this guy, which means he's going to get Bone Shield, yeah, of course. But at some point the Bone Shield will expire, so I'm going to do Special 2. 
And the, the point of me doing special 2 is to apply as many debuffs as possible. Look at this, he resisted, but he didn't resist the Frostbite. And now he has Frostbite and Soak. That's so good. I'm going to do another special one. And this Johnny Cage is going down. Actually, he isn't because there's Scorpion. Now I'm going to attack with my Lucane, crippling the Scorpion in the process, which basically means that this team is going down. Uh, by the way, uh, look at Classic Raider. He has Weaken. And the reason for that is because every single time when the enemy is soaked, uh, there is 75% to spread the debuffs to every single tagged out enemy. So the moment you tag in Classic Raider, you apply Cripple, thanks to the fact that you Cripple on tag because you have Classic Lucane. You do Special 2, you apply Team Weaken, and you have 75% chance to apply also Team Frostbite. And that's insane, literally insane. Uh, okay, this guy is... Uh, this battle is just like uh, over. I have, by the way, Living Dead, so this guy cannot beat me. We're going to the next fight. Let's see what was the next fight. Now, the reason why I'm doing first the combo ender with Rain is because I'm trying to, uh, to soak with a combo ender. There's 20% chance, but that can be done. Now I'm going to attack with Classic Raiden. Remember, I don't care about the damage. All I want to do is Special 2, which is going to apply Team Weaken, 75% chance. And uh, actually, this time I believe they resisted. Oh no, they didn't, you see? This guy has Frostbite, has Weaken, and he tags, and he's freaking crippled. I mean... What can you possibly ask more from a character? I mean, no, I think this guy is incredible in survival mode. And uh, if we're talking about him at Fusion Zero as a fighter, uh, yeah, he'll be bad. Even if he changes this special one, sooner or later he's going to trigger a Revenant or a Bone Shields, right? So no, he isn't that great Fusion Zero in survival mode as a fighter. As a support though, he is amazing. Fusion Zero, amazing, as you can see. And not even a single battle, he was close of dying. Okay, this battle should be over, so let's uh, swap to the next one. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, Lucian is going to get frozen, and uh, I'm ready on my special 2. I don't want to risk, because this guy can one-shot me. I'm going to do special uh, 2 right off the bat. Alrighty. Soaked, then I'm going to attack to Raiden. Uh, I'm going to do special 2, and I want his Revenant to trigger, because if the Revenant doesn't trigger, I cannot apply to, uh, Team uh, Frostbite. Uh, currently, unfortunately, his Revenant didn't trigger, and at this particular point, uh, I was only lucky with the Weaken, which is good enough for me. Look at Scorpion Special 2, it would be lethal in a lot of cases, but thanks to the Weaken, it wasn't this time. So I was perfectly fine with it. Out of those three debuffs, uh, Weaken, Cripple, and Frostbite, If even if one of them goes, that's perfectly fine. But in a lot of cases, two or three goes, so that's fine. Alright, this battle, uh, let's... You proceed the next one. I'm just going to skip forward because uh, I just don't want to do a video that's 40 minutes long, just me commenting on my gameplay. I just want to um, pay attention to some specific points and how I'm uh, doing, uh, how I'm playing this team and how you can perfectly do it with Fusion Zero Rain and how he's amazing in survival mode. And now that was bad because I got, uh, for some reason, this guy's using, uh, you know, the thing, uh, this guy's using. Uh, this is Life Force, which I don't recommend using on Raiden, like, never, guys, please don't do that. <laughs> but uh, he kind of screwed my plans. Uh, it's not really bad at this point, but, uh, yeah, he kind of destroyed my strategy. I have to agree. The Blazes Life Force can uh, screw your strategy up. I mean, I'm not completely destroyed, but still I couldn't do the soak in the beginning and stuff like this. Now I'm doing Special 1 of Lucane, very good way to use the Special 1, by the way. Just buy some time, wait for this Bone Shoot to expire and stuff. Uh, wait for this guy to tag, do special 3, and I defeated this battle like this, despite the fact that uh, I couldn't kill Soak. So, here we're going to fast forward to the next one, which I believe was more difficult. Where is my mouse? Where is my mouse? Oh my goodness, where is my mouse? Alrighty, where is my mouse? Where is my mouse? Oh, there you go, okay. Alrighty. Let's see the next battle. Again, I'm doing a uh, combo ender because I want to soak, but I can't soak. I believe only in one battle I will soak, and that would be crazy. Or was it actually, it was in the beginning, I did not record it. Anyways, this guy soaked, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to attack my raid, I'm going to do special to uh, crippling the enemy team in the process, weakening the enemy team in the process, frostbiting the enemy team in the process. Look at this. So, how? How is classic uh, raid not good in survival mode? I, I don't get it. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't get it. Look at this. Now I'm going to do combo ender, then I'm going to do special one. 
this is the way you use classic looking special one. It has its uses. Look at that. Just on time, just on time. Perfect timing. Now another special one. And then I think I won't be pretty good on the tag in which way them. Yeah, sometimes uh, you have to have the correct timing. Anyways, next battle. Alright, this is the final battle against an MK11 team. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, now with Classic Rain, I'm going to do, you know, what I always do. And just remember guys, if I was using some... Only one tower piece. That was epic maxed out. I wouldn't have any problems clearing these battles whatsoever because the moment the team is team soaked, it's over. It is just over. Now I'm going to special two. Look at this. Team weekend, team frostbite. Beautiful. That's all. That's all. Right. Look at Scorpion. Look at Scorpion. He cannot do anything. And now he comes back. He goes bye bye Scorpion. Just like this. Now this guy uh, who has 10 million debuffs, <laughs> he just tanked in. Oh my goodness. Now, just to make things a little bit uh, more interesting, I'm going to do special too. And just like this, I'm going to soak this guy and try. And currently, this this was supposed to be team soak. Sadly, Sub Zero resisted it. I mean, things like this happen. What can you do? And now I'm going to save my guy. Going to do special too. This Sub Zero is going to get erect. Exactly. Oh, and look at this now. This is beautiful. This is how you do it, guys. <laughs> and yeah, this, I just had, I just wanted to have some fun with Jade because I cannot ex start to, ex to say how much I hate Jade. It's like, and of course, she's going to get <laughs> bone shield and revenant. But I wanted to finish this game with Rain, and this is what I do. This is what I do. Uh, Elder Tower, no issues whatsoever. I had, I believe, I had one battle where it was kind of difficult. But at the end of the day, this team is incredibly powerful, even. If you don't have uh, maxed out epic tower pieces, incredible. If my rain was let's say fusion five, fusion six, so I uh, wasn't that uh, afraid that he's going to get wrecked in the beginning, I would probably stay longer with him and try to team soak. And once I do that, then you just tag in Raiden and the game is done. This is how strong th this team is. This is how strong classic rain is in survival mode. So uh, no, I heavily disagree that he's bad in survival mode. Or he's not that great. Yes, as a fighter, this aspect of his game, I agree. Fusion zero, not that great because the enemy can get revenant, bone shield, stuff like this. As a support, though, he's godlike even in fusion zero in survival mode without any issues for me. I mean. What can you possibly say? All right, guys, this is going to be all for me for today. I hope you found this video useful. And yeah, see you next time. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.